just on the end of the note. Yeah, um, so you're in the silence. Go. Lift. The emotional side of it is really what makes ballet and dance something different from sport and athleticism. You know, we do exactly the same as a great athlete. However, it's the ability to be able to evoke some sort of emotion within someone that is, is what makes our job art. You know, it's the way you'd read a script or the way you phrase a poem. You know, that is the pacing of everything is what is going to set the piece off. Vesper Team was commissioned originally in Oslo and it was part of a Baroque festival. The Baroque and the Renaissance period were these opulent, elegant rebirth of the kind of classical nature and it's something that I've kind of tried to infiltrate within the piece as well. So guys, whenever, whenever, guys, whenever they're lifting it up, you should be down there. Yeah, so just... Sometimes actually the most fruitful, innovative pieces that you create are the ones that are handed to you or the, the, the kind of guidelines are more specific and you're, you're asked to create something that has, has a reason or has a, a thematic response to a, uh, an inspirational device that you've been given, not chosen. That one's a surprise in terms of... So that you're curving in at the last second in terms of how... Ashley has cultivated a group of individuals that retain their identities but work three, well as a group. Five, six, one, two, and three, four, and five, and six. One, two, three, one. Yeah. So much, much. We were fun. looking for the right piece, and Ashley was very keen on Vespertine. And I get very specific about which companies can do what work, you know, in terms of I want the dancers to look good and I want my work to be represented well. And I, you know, had no doubt that Joffrey would do this piece complete justice. And coming into the rehearsal um, and seeing it as it is, I was not wrong. Just draw, draw stuff out a little bit more. Thank you.